What's up Financial High? So in today's video, we're gonna be going over the GM card, this card right here. Um, apparently, to get this card, you have to buy a Cadillac. So I just bought a Cadillac and I got this card. just playing you don't actually need to actually have a Cadillac to buy this card or to actually get this card it's free and uh, you can just apply online so uh, first off let's go ahead and go over the extras for this card so before you even get the card you get this cool uh, little booklet right here kind of just showing you some of the other card designs because this card does have some pretty cool designs Kind of going over some of the points you have and as you can see it kind of makes you want to buy a car not gonna lie uh so going through this i really want a gm <laughs> a gm car um after looking at this but i thought it was pretty cool kind of to get you in the cool vibes i'm not only getting a car but also to use this freaking card next up let's go ahead and go over the car design guys there's several different car designs this one right here i got it's the black one um, as you can see it just looks so freaking cool it's not fully black it has like gray in there like gray and black lines all throughout uh, the name all in white the MasterCard logo looks pretty clean with the gray and white and I like how it has all of your info on the back so I can show you guys the full front of this and don't have to worry about blurring anything out overall I think this is a nice looking card and if you want something you know that looks nice i will definitely look at the gm cards now next up let's go ahead and go over the overview of what you'll see online when you're using the card all right so first off, when you get to the uh, main page it's pretty bland i've seen a lot of better ones you guys probably seen a whole lot of better um displays as you can see the white and this gray down here and then you know you can kind of see how much you have in your credit card your current balance all of that right there and if I had um, any like, you know, transactions within the last 30 days, you'll see this on this right side here, but it's pretty blank. I'm not gonna lie. You would think with the cool uh, car design on the website, it would actually look better, but it really doesn't. It, it, it really doesn't. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and enable auto pay too, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys kind of what you'll see first. You kind of see this, you can instantly link it, you can, you know, as well as manually link it. Something that you'll probably see on a lot of these cards. Now, outside of the accounts, let's go ahead and go to the transactions. It's just, you know, could kind of just show you the page, how it kind of looks. Again, I haven't purchased anything on this card, but if I did, it will show up right here. And again, you still have that basic background, uh, this blue, uh, bluish gray tint and the white up there. Again, nothing really spectacular. And then from here, um, you can go ahead and go to your documents as well. If you kind of just wanted to get some more info or anything as well, and it would be right here. Um, and it also your account agreement. Again, you can go to 90 days to all 2022, and you can change that as well. But again, guys, this is a pretty basic layout. This is a very uh, basic layout. Um, out of all the credit cards I've seen, I think this is probably the most basic and most boring licking one and lastly let's go ahead and go over the rewards you can expect from this card so for the rewards it's kind of weird you actually have to go to another um, site like gm uh like mygmrewards.com and then on top of that you actually had to create another account i tried to log in with my account and i wasn't even able to well, apparently you have to log in with yet another account i thought that was kind of stupid to be uh, quite frank with it, um, but for the rewards is actually kind of just for cars, just for GM cards. So if you're if you're like looking for something that you can use for like an Amazon gift card or help you out with gas and different things of that nature, yeah, uh, look elsewhere. As you can see, uh, some of the rewards or some of the stuff you can redeem it. You can you can redeem it towards like uh, new GM vehicle purchases. So yeah, if you're looking for a new car, this is great. Um, pre-owned cars if you're looking for own star gm connected services plan um, the accessories and parts for your car uh, even gm financial as well but that is pretty much it i kind of just want to show you guys uh, a couple tabs of some of these we'll look at these three right here just so you guys can kind of have a sense of what you can use your points towards now look at that you can earn three points per one dollar spent on most OnStar connected service plans and car members can earn 
uh, seven total points for each dollar. So they are giving you a lot of points. Again, I'm not exactly sure how much that will register in dollar amount, a point, but um, they are giving points out again for uh, certain GM things and things that will help you out with your car. Not, it won't necessarily help you out with anything else outside of your car. Um, it's also eligible again for new GM vehicle purchases or uh, leasing of a car. And as you can see, you can earn one point per $5 spent on a purchase or lease of your eligible new GM vehicle. Uh, when you again visiting participating uh, GM dealership, so make sure you're having the right one there if you're going to be using this card and you want some points. And then um, let's go ahead and go to the third tab real quick. And yeah, if you need auto repair again, you can use your card and they will give you three dollar three points for each dollar spent. And again, seven uh, total points for each dollar spent on paid certified service, accessories, and parts. And again, it kind of just, kind of just goes over um, more of the details there. Pay services, the eligible uh, GM accessories, and things of that nature. And again, you don't actually need the card to look at this. You can just go to the um, mygmrewards.com or something like that, or just type that in on uh, Google, and you can see this yourself. But again, uh, this is primarily just just for car stuff. So guys, if you're looking if you're looking for like a car, a car you can use for your current GM vehicle, then hey, this this is great. But if you don't have a GM, then yeah, you're really not going to be able to use any points uh, towards this. So kind of just to give you guys a heads up on this as well, if you're thinking about this card. Overall, the card is okay. Um, I definitely don't recommend this card for most people. Um, if you want a cool looking card, then yeah. This is, they have some cool designs. If you're looking for something more practical, gonna give you more rewards for your everyday purchases, no, I don't recommend it. Now, if you do have a GM card and you're looking for a card that you can probably maximize if you're gonna you know, be buying GM accessories and maybe a new car, then yeah, I would definitely look into it. But overall, I would call this car meh. It's mainly cool to look at and if you kind of just want to flex on people but outside of that i think there's a lot of other cards that i reviewed on this channel that i think would be a lot better like the chase card